Hello and welcome. This is Chai Hoffelenia and this is your 6 p.m. wrap. Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte says he regrets the, quote, strong comments he made that came across as a personal attack against United States President Barack Obama. Duterte launched a tirade against Obama before leaving for the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit in Laos. The controversial remarks led to the cancellation of a meeting with Obama. Duterte says, quote, while the immediate cause was my strong comments to certain press questions that elicited concern and distress, we also regret it came across as a personal attack on the U.S. president. He adds the meeting between the two leaders has been moved to a later date. Duterte also blames the media reports for his controversial remarks against Obama over extrajudicial killings. Presidential spokesman Martin Andanar says, quote, President Duterte explained that the press reports that President Obama would lecture him on extrajudicial killings led to his strong comments, which in turn elicited concern. He regrets that his remarks to the press have caused much controversy. Malacanang releases the formal proclamation that declares a state of national emergency due to lawless violence Tuesday. Proclamation number 55 commands the, quote, armed forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police to undertake such measures as may be permitted by the Constitution. President Rodrigo Duterte earlier said he's declaring a state of lawlessness after a night market in Davao City was bombed Friday. The blast killed at least 14 people. It also cites the following criminal acts as basis for the proclamation. Murder of innocent civilians, highway robberies and extortions, and assassinations of media people. Proclamation number 55 says these acts, quote, exhibit the audacity and the propensity of these armed lawless groups to defy the rule of law, sow anarchy and sabotage the government's economic development and peace efforts. President Rodrigo Duterte says former President Fidel Ramos is one of his sources for his list of supposed drug personalities. Duterte says Ramos visited him four times in Davao City to supposedly convince him to run for president. He adds, Ramos showed him a list of the alleged drug personalities. Duterte says, quote, even the police linked to drugs, the list is so thick, I haven't released some of the names because I am still validating. The president released a list of police generals and government officials with alleged links to the illegal drug trade. Duterte also released a drug matrix linking his fiercest critic, Senator Laila de Lima, and Pangasinan Representative Amado Espino Jr. to the new Bilibid prison's drug trade. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says he is, in his words, excited to meet Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte in person. Abe says, quote, Mr. President is quite a famous figure also in Japan, and I am very excited to see you in person. Duterte and Abe met on the sidelines of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations Summit in Laos Tuesday, September 6. The Japanese Prime Minister's remarks elicited laughter in a room full of government officials and diplomats. Abe also extended his sympathy to Duterte over the bombing that killed at least 14 people in Duterte's hometown of Davao. Senator Manny Pacquiao dismisses reports he is broke after winning a Senate seat. Pacquiao says, quote, I've been fighting for the past 21 years and recipient of so many of what I consider as jokes. But I'll tell you this joke that I'm broke is the funniest and most annoying. He is making a boxing comeback against Jesse Vargas in November after retiring earlier this year. Pacquiao says he's the richest congressman based on his 2015 statement of assets, liabilities, and net worth. He says in his words, how can that happen? They mean I spent the almost 4 billion pesos I earned from boxing? That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Chai Hoffelenia. Remember, tomorrow begins today.